Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Hello viewers. Welcome once again to my uh, channel. For those of you that are new to, to the channel, you are most well welcome. For those of you that are existing subscribers, you are also of course most welcome. If you are new to the channel, please don't forget to hit that bell icon and the all button so that you get notification of all the videos that I produce. By the grace of Allah Ta'ala and your prayers and du'as, I am well. I am hoping that you are well too. Welcome once again to my uh, channel. And as you can see from the screen, we're carrying on with the uh, maths uh, series and uh, another uh, sort of um, diagram that you would be asked to draw at GCSE level is what's known as moving averages. It really is a nice straightforward topic and it really is easy marks to be picked up if you get this question. Okay. So before we uh, make a start, I uh, always make the plea, please like, share and subscribe to the channel, particularly the subscribe that is uh, at a very slow pace. Please help in whatever way you can to achieve, for me to achieve the 1000 mark. Okay. So as I said today, we are going to be learning about moving averages and that involves um, calculating an average of three or four points and then plotting those on a graph okay so we will also be plotting the um, figures on the graph and then using them to make uh, predictions okay so as I say, I think it's quite straightforward. Here we have a set of data from January to December. And what you need to do is uh, work out the average for three, sorry, three point average. So all we do is simply uh, find the mean of the f uh, first set of values and then not include the first one and uh, move forwards. I think it's better illustrated with an arrow. So firstly we need to do the average of the first three. So the total of that is 105 we divide that by three and the answer is 35 and of course that with that being the average of the three that goes in the middle as it were where February is because we added those three and we simply carry on like that so in the next one we don't include 35 and it's these three here okay and if we add those up it comes to 98 and 98 divided by 3 is 32.7 uh, Okay, and that's what we're going to uh, inc uh, put in there, which is the middle of the next three, and so on. So, we're doing one more. Okay, so the total of 38, 28 and 34 is 100, and we simply divide that by 3. And it's 33.3. .3. So, I'm going to leave the screen up for... Five more seconds and I want you to calculate the remaining averages on this uh, table. So copy out the table and uh, put in the remaining averages please and then I will write the answers of course. Okay so I'm going to move on. Five, four, three, two, one so i'm just simply going to give you the answers and hopefully you have frozen the screen and calculated them and you can check your answers against mine are we ready now it comes to 29.7 29 30.3 30 30.4 
31, 32, 37, 30. And that, sorry, that is our final one. So, what we need to do now is to plot these figures. So, the idea of the diagram is to see if the average follows the actual. So, firstly, we plot the actual uh, figures, which are 35, 32, 38, etc., down to 44. So that's the first one, 35, and so on. Okay, so up to the last one, which is 44. Uh, we simply join those. So I'm going to use uh, black color. So you could be asked to do this in the exam situation and then we need to plot the average and it's preferable to do that in a different colour so that it stands out. Okay, so that is, sorry, we need to join that. So as you can see, it's really is uh, nice and easy. Uh, so it's a very easy four to six mark uh, question. Uh, there will be, of course, analysis questions uh, as to what you uh, think of these figures or why they are um, high in certain months and low in uh, uh, other uh, months. So what we can say about the averages is, is that basically it follows uh, the, the raw figures. There aren't really uh, substantially uh, out of sync uh, figures. Okay, so uh, the sales of this product are high in January, February, March. And uh, then th they get a bit lower. So it's something that's um, obviously uh, a winter uh, uh, products because they start rising from uh, uh, December. Okay, so December and January are quite high uh, figures. All right, moving on. So yeah, I will. I've got a few examples for you to do. Okay, so here. Um, we are going to be doing what's called a four point where you have to add up four figures. Okay, so those are the first four figures that we're going to add and work out the average. Okay, so the first four figures are 12, 15, 14 and 21 and that adds up to 62. If we divide that by four, we should get 15.5 and that is slotted there and we're going to carry on those figures are um, 15 add 14 add 21 add 13 comes to 63 divide that by 4 and it comes to 15.75 okay so just going to give you five seconds to uh, calculate the next one so as you can see we are only able to uh, calculate uh, three figures so I'm going to leave you give you five more seconds to uh, calculate the one that's missing five four three two one so those are the four that we need so uh, the total of 14, 21, th and 13 and 13 comes to 61 and the average is 15.25. Okay, and then we need to plot these. So once again, plotting on the uh, r uh, raw figures, or the original figures I should say. Okay, so we're plotting uh, the first column 12, 15, 14, etc. down to 20. Okay, so that's uh, those plotted and now we're um, 
plotting the moving average. So remember, this will be fewer figures because, uh, sorry, we should have joined this first. Okay, so there is the average. So once again, it, it really follows uh, the raw figures, although we do have that uh, uh, high figure of, uh, of 20 and 21 on two two occasions okay so those are in the uh, final quarter really so once again it would be a, a winter uh, product so those two uh, extreme values do uh, distort the average uh, a little bit but it, it goes from um, uh, 15.5 to 16 which is you know straightforward really okay so finally here is an exam question so you're not asked to plot anything you are asked to look at the uh, data and calculate the sales figure for Sunday okay so I shall leave that up for five seconds and see what you can calculate Okay, five, four, three, two, one. I'm about to go through uh, the answers. So, what you've got to ask yourself is that three numbers must have been added to get an average. So, for example, the 320, 313, and 309 must have been added to get 314. So, similarly, the last three numbers must have been added to get uh, 590. Okay, so the average for Friday, Saturday and Sunday was 590. So that is, you know, the addition of three figures. So if we multiply that by three, it comes to 1770. So those three figures must add up to 1770. So we merely take 418 and 726 away uh, from 1770 to get our figure for Sunday. Okay, so I've written that there and it comes to 600 and 26 so the answer is 626 is the sales figure for Sunday okay so hopefully that's been a nice uh, straightforward topic and uh, hope that you can remember the procedure it's just remembering that you you know do the three or the four previously so you, you exclude one and move on to the next set Okay, so that is the end of the session. So in this session, we've looked at three and four point moving averages. And we've seen whether the, you know, the uh, series is smooth or not. And hopefully in the next lesson, we'll be looking at um, interpreting uh, uh, these averages in, in more detail. Okay. So, once again, I say thank you very, very much for watching. Um, I do hope it's been useful. I make the plea, please like, share and subscribe to the channel, particularly the subscribe. Please tell all your friends, colleagues, anybody that you think would benefit from my channel. So until the next time I say look after yourselves, look after others, goodbye. Apna khyal rakhna, dusron ka khyal rakhna, duaon mein yaad rakhna, Allah Hafiz.